another LSPDFR patrol for today's episode. We're in the 2015 Charger. In the last episode, we used this car to the left, or I guess technically to the right of me, the 14 Charger. Uh, we're going to be starting off in Rockford Hills. We've got updates to a lot of Pajol Joe's modifications. If you want to download any of the mods I use in my game, feel free to check out the link in the description of this video. We've got a Google document. We've got names of the mods and links to download them and put them into your game. So other than that, no new changes to the the uh, the setup. Let's go ahead and get started for today. Dispatch Lincoln 18, show me 1041 10 8. Roger. Citizens report 8211 at uh, 5 24-7 mark. Dispatch Lincoln 18, copy that. Roger, one, Lincoln, 18. Got reports of an armed rot, or not, we don't know if it's armed, but Robert in progress. Responding code three. Roger that, one, Lincoln, 18. Try to get on scene. We've got an update to Compu Light with some of the charges using a custom setting for that. Of course, that is in the link in the description if you want to download it for yourself. Uh, we had noticed a couple of things missing from that charge list. Uh, that is something I definitely struggle with finding the correct charges for things, uh, just because typically we just we, we have limited options based off of uh, presets. Suspect blast scene on foot and downtown Vinewood. All right, so the location was going to be right up ahead. I'm seeing somebody running in the street. Requesting pursuit backup. Backup required on Suspect uh, just took off Clinton in a Avenue. gray minivan. We're gonna be westbound Clinton Avenue. We're the the Speed's approximately uh, 60 miles per hour. Just 1050 into another vehicle. We're gonna be taking a right hand turn northbound Las Lagunas Boulevard. Vehicle occupied one time. Requesting play check. I'm too far away to get a reading. Requesting play check. Let's do this. Let's let's request a pit. I got another unit right behind me. We have been confirmed to pit the suspects. So we're gonna do that as safely as possible. Pit number one did fail. All right, he's spinning. We can block him in here. We got a failure on the pit. Requesting play check. Let me minivan six zero zero Paul Union seven one three. Target vehicle license plate six zero zebra. So we're gonna be headed Union towards Los Santos County now. No, Requesting pursuit backup. Speeds have dropped down to about 40 miles per hour. Uh, vehicle is damaged. I'm not sure if this is his actual registered vehicle or if this is one he just happened to carjack at the scene of the crime. But he's got substantial damage to it. I don't anticipate this is going to last too much longer. Let's request some spike strips. We're requesting spike strip. Requesting spike strip. There we go. I'm gonna fall back a little bit. And we got a confirmed hit on the spike strip. Vehicle is coming to a slowdown, a stop. All right, let's see your hands. Give it up. Looks like he's gonna give it up. It's over, buddy. On the ground. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Up. Let me see your hands. On the floor, punk. Stay right there. You Holy moly. He was coming in way too hot there. Dispatch show one in custody. Roger that. Look at this. 
We're requesting code 2 backup. Roger. 1, Lincoln, 18. Backup needed. Let me get one of these officers out here to watch them. While I uh, move my car out of the way. You can see right there that's a Tahoe from Blaine County. Just rammed okay. right into him. Watch him for a second for me. So I got a good uh, suggestion last time. Always search the subject first. Just in case. You never know if they have weapons or anything like that. I got a substantial amount of damage to my own car as well. Alright. Um, so traffic should be good to go. Let's go ahead and search this guy. Alright sir, do you have anything illegal on you? No, not today. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and search you. Go ahead and pat him down for me. There are no flags coming back on the car. I have no idea if it was stolen or not. We'll see what his name is and then we can confirm if it's registered to him or not. I think that's gonna be the easiest way. His name is Dustin Carroll. I think this is registered to him. Requesting play check. Six zero zebra Paul Union 713. Is it registered to him? Plate. Yep. It Fifth is his car. Zero. Zebra Paul Union Okay. Oh man, I miss what was actually found on him. Uh, he's got a gasoline receipt, broken USB drive, photo of a lady with their eyes burned out in a wallet. So not exactly no, sure if he was able to steal anything. Let's see if there's any weapons in this car. All right, what I'm gonna do actually, uh, it's not really safe to put them in my car because of the damage there. So let's go ahead and place them in our backups car. These sheriff uh, units look fantastic. Somebody was telling me they had LOD issues, but I have yet to see that. I'm not saying they're wrong. Can we put them in the back seat though? We're just getting an option to put them in the front seat. I don't really like that option. All right, just watch him there for me. I'm going to search the car. Surely there's got to be a weapon or something if he's trying to rob a store. We did cross over into Bl Blaine County during that pursuit, but Blaine County and the city, we have an agreement if there's a pursuit that is started on one side of the county city line that it can continue on. We got a roll of police tape, a toolbox, and some other random stuff. No weapons, though, surprisingly. Okay. Um, this thing's gonna get towed off. Requesting tow truck. And I am watching this coyote right there. I've been killed so many times from the wildlife in GTA 5. I just, I can't trust it. Okay, so that has been picked up. Let's go ahead and start doing the charges on him. He's gonna be charged with robbery. All right, yep, you can see how this has expanded uh, from what it used to be. We just know it was an attempt at robbery. I'm not sure if he actually got anything. There we go. Not sure if he was armed either. Uh, also, he's gonna have resisting, trying to evade police. So let me just figure out where this is gonna fall under. I, I would hit him with the reckless driving because he did crash into another vehicle at one point. That's a loot on foot. Fleeing or attempting to elude law enforcement officer. I would say that does it. We didn't find anything in his possession. So that's all the charges I'm gonna go with. Of course, you guys are really good at telling me what charges I missed out. Sometimes, well, I frequently miss out on charges. So the pending court case has been uh, added. You can see right there, there's arrest records. Uh, the August 2017 was a prior. What the heck? Whose car is that? Is that my car? That was terrible. Okay, let's get him to transport this guy into jail. Requesting police transport. 
Four, copy that. One, Requesting Lincoln police 18. transport. Roger that. One, Come on, Lincoln you can do it. 18. Requesting Attorney police Tom. transport. There you go. Backup required. In Thank you. Alright, go ahead, take them in. We'll be done here. Uh, the other thing we could do is circle back around to the actual scene of the crime. I'm not sure where it was. I think it was somewhere off Vinewood Boulevard though. Um, I'll double check and if there's anything we find there, I'll add it into the video. But we're gonna have to get a new patrol car. This one's pretty damaged. Yeah, I think the scene of the crime was somewhere over here. Not seeing too much, so we're going to go back code 4 and take it from there. Citizens reporting suspect is carrying a weapon in Vinewood Hill. Dispatch wing in 18, copy that. Responding code 3. Units respond code 3. So we got reports of somebody possibly with a mental disorder walking around the Los Santos area with a weapon. So this is going to definitely be a code three response. We'll check this out and see what exactly is going on. Hopefully we can resolve it with no violence, but you never know. I do want to get back up on scene as soon as I get there. That's for sure. Especially if they're reported to have a weapon. They have a weapon. I like to uh, at least have another officer with me. Requesting code three response. Roger, one, Lincoln, that. 18. Assistance needed on a Wild Oats Drive. All right, I'm gonna stage right here. Ocean one, we can get that. All right, I, be I see somebody waving us down over here. So let's make contact with them. I believe he's gonna be a witness. Speak to the witness, press a Y to reveal dialogue. What's going on, sir? A guy's wandering around here with a crowbar. I'm so scared. Do you know where he's at now? Yeah, I saw him a few blocks from here. I think he has a mental problem. Fine then, uh, go ahead and get back in your house Hello. for now and we'll take care of it. All right, he's telling us to be careful. All right, uh, suspect spotted suspect right down the road, possibly armed with a crowbar. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get in my car there and we're gonna see what's going on. We did get a new car since the last one was heavily damaged. It's gonna be a male suspect with a crowbar. So let's see if we can locate him. Wait, here we go, here we go. Yep, right here. Requesting code three backup. Required on Wild Oats Drive. Spotted the suspect in question. Victor 13, we're at the little coffee shop around the corner. Comes out, me. I want my taser ready to go. What is he wearing? I think he's possibly wearing, um, no, it's just a polo. All right, sir, freeze. Don't freeze. Drop move. it. Drop it. Drop your crowbar, okay? I want you to go ahead, get on the ground. We're in our body cam view right now. Let's go ahead and get him detained. Backup's right there, in case he tries You're anything funny. Now. He did drop the crowbar. We are code four. Suspecting custody. All right, no sir. All right, now you're gonna be placed under arrest, walking around with the crowbar. People are scared you're gonna hurt somebody. Do you have anything else illegal on you, sir? F off with the questions. All right, go ahead, pat him down. All right, sir. Um, we need to see if we can ask him if he has any type of mental problems. He's got an expired disabled parking placard. Maybe possibly due to his mental issues if he does have one. His name is Jaden Quaster. Jaden, can you tell me what happened today? What were you doing? 
I'm trained to become a police officer. This, that's not how to do it, sir. That is not how to do it. Any other details you can tell me about? I have no idea. I only just got here. Okay. All right. Do you understand what we're telling you? Yes. Okay. Um, all right. So what we're going to do is you're going to come back with me. There's nothing there that we found, right? Let me double check this. He, yeah. Cuban cigar. All right. All right, so right now you're going to be arrested for walking around with the weapon. Um, people were in fear for their own safety. So that would fall under an assault charge. Possibly brandishing a weapon. All right, can you go have, go ahead and have a seat there in the back for me? Fucking sick! I guess. Let's close this. Let's try to find the appropriate charges here. I love this car. It looks great. There's one more car that I've got installed from this pack too. We'll take a look at in the coming days. So Jaden, um, his citation records. He's got a couple moving violations. Other than that, he's pretty clean. Uh, we will get him. Let me look here. I want to find something with a weapon, traffic, property, robbery, theft, stolen possession, homicide, attempted. Uh, here we go. Assault, aggravated assault. We can consider that a deadly weapon. Assault, typically. So, assault versus battery. There is a definition there. I know the tort law for assault versus battery, which is the civil side, not the criminal side. But typically in the tort, this, the civil side of assault versus battery, assault is the actual apprehension or fear that you're going to be attacked with someone. That's enough to peg someone with assault versus a battery is the actual physical act of hitting somebody. So that's why we have assault right there. I think that's really all we could possibly charge them with. Um, I, I could actually probably charge him up with this because he was starting to run at me as well if you look at the footage there from the body cam. So we'll do that and uh, we'll get one of these officers to take him. Requesting police back. transport. Assistance required on Wild Oats Drive. Wayne County is really helping us out today. That's for sure. Pull off like this. Actually, I'm gonna just pull up here. So I'm not blocking traffic. Alright, just to make sure he gets over to the other vehicle without any problems. Hey, you're free to go. Um, I think we got it covered from here. Appreciate the help though. All right, he's being transported off. Oh, damn. All right, see you later. So that'll pretty much wrap up our patrol for today. I hope you did enjoy it. That was a pretty fun one. We'll take a look at some of these outcomes. Some of the outcomes can uh, vary pretty wildly. I don't know what the determination is for the outcomes but we also now should have the ability to delete some old ones as well so that will come in handy the first one today was a guy who fled from us he got fined uh, about what is that 18 1900 dollars four months in prison 18 months in prison i don't know four four months in prison two years in prison so he'll probably do the two years in prison Jaden, uh four years in prison it looks like he got more assault with a deadly weapon than assault on a law enforcement officer. So depending on people's lawyers and stuff like that, these charges can be dropped. They could do a plea deal. The outcome can wildly, wildly differ from what uh, statutes say it would be sentencing, um, maximum sentencing terms. So just something to keep in mind. And that guy was only 19 years old. Hard to believe. All right, as always, thank you so much for watching this series. I do enjoy it. I really do 
appreciate the constructive feedback. Obviously, I don't come from a law enforcement background. So when you guys give me feedback on how to do things and play more realistically, I do appreciate it. I do take those into consideration when I'm making future videos. So again, thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next patrol.